my camelot. What's the meaning of family? What's the meaning of a clan? What's the meaning of a gang? And why is it that all three have similar meanings? It's a group of people who sticks together, representing the system they are into. Unity. Be there for one another. Alliance. Oneness. And wholeness. For every anime fans knows that most shows in anime show the main character being born with no parents, left behind, abandoned, forgotten, or even excluded for being different. But the anime world is big. There's also multiple animes where families, clans, gangs, and guilt are the set of point in their shoes. They were the main focus, the most talk, and also the most fear. But my main focus is this anime, which has ended back in 2017, still in the top 10 of most watched shows and most loved. Naruto Shibude. In these shows, there were lots of clans and groups, such as the Senju clan, the Utsumaki clan, the Hyuga clan, the Sarutobi clan, the Hataki clan, and so on. In today's video, I'll introduce one of the most, if not, the most famous clan in all the show, for their history and members. The Uchiha clan. Its bloodline ranks amongst the most vulnerable. The ability to wield the Sharingan is considered the greatest strength enable them to see through Taijutsu, Genjutsu, and Ninjutsu. Many highly skilled ninja hail from this family, such as Hitachi Uchiha, Sazuke Uchiha, Obito Uchiha, Shizu Uchiha, and him. I am the ghost of the Uchiha. Madara Uchiha is the man who fought the god of Shinobi and that has a statue next to him at the waterfall. From the very first moment, you could tell that this man was special. His name has been thrown around over the years in the show. But when the real mother of Uchiha appeared, it was incredible. The embodiment of power, greatness, with such an imposing presence, he effortlessly dealt with the Shinobi Alliance, showing that his levels above within Sharingan, and soon after, with the awakening ring again. The true embodiment of a god, more precisely, a god of war, who we'll rise up from the dead to deal with the shinobi and to make his goal come true. A god on a mission, born in a warring state period, where war was the only way of survival. After losing all of his brothers through war, Madara's goal was peace. Different from Ashirama's peace, Madara's peace was a controlling peace, where he could rule over it. After. Learning about the history of the Shinobi, which was pain, agony, and endless conflicts. Why is that? Because that's the only thing that he knows. War. He is the child of war. For him, war is everything. You can gain everything through it, and lose everything. Madara doesn't know anything else than to use people like soldiers. In the same process, lose your own comrades. He believes that his true pain, despair, agony, 
you see the true image of an individual who is about to lose everything. That was precious to them. The ghost of Duchia is full of self-confidence, so much that to those who saw as weak, he didn't respect them. A very controlling character, always wanting to do things with his own hands. There's this famous quote that says, To become the hero of your own story, you have to become the villain in someone else's story. Madara was a villain in people's eyes, but for him all the plans and actions that he took was for the greater good. No matter the obstacle, he did everything to achieve it. He sought for eternal peace, an eternal dream, an illusion, as God claimed. By the time he acquired the eternal Mangekyu Sharingan, his genjutsu was so great that he became one of the few in history to completely control the Nine Tails. This same mother would go on and fight Ashirama for a full 24 hours straight. And was a skill she knew that even fooled Ashirama by beating a piece of his flesh and then used a time in Sanaki to bring himself back to life without anyone knowing. Having the ringing gun in all five changes in chakra nature, just with Taijutsu, he was able to defeat the Shinobi Alliance. With his justice majestic destroyer flame, he was enough to force several shinobis to use water release to counter. He almost wiped out our division of the Shinobi Alliance by summoning a giant meteor to drop on top of them. With his bare hand, he absorbed Naruto Rasenka. For each of his clothes, he made Susan to fight the five Kai. The man who became the Ten Tails Shinjuriki. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to present one of the coolest and coldest characters, villains, in Naruto Shibuden. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Nikazawa! What? Demain